Do you want to add some texture to your graphics? What about create a silhouette in less than 20 seconds in any shape you want? Let's talk about drop shadow. What up? I love you. Today, we're going through drop shadow. Go to your effects panel, type in drop shadow, drag that bad boy onto any clip you want, and then we're gonna move into the effect controls panel. In the effect controls panel, we got a few things we're gonna run through. The first one being shadow color. You get to choose any color that you want to make your drop shadow. You can do this by clicking either the eyedropper and clicking on your actual video clip to select a color, or you can do this by selecting a square and choosing any color you want or entering the hex code into the hex box. Once you have your color selected, your next option is gonna be opacity. It is defaulted at 50%. So it's sort of see-through, sort of not see-through. And you can move this from 0% to 100%, 0% being not visible at all, and 100% being incredibly visible. It's arguably the only thing visible. The next three controls are direction, distance and softness. Direction is going to be which angle is your drop shadow go. It starts at 135 degrees and that's going to bring it down slightly to the right. Distance is how far away the drop shadow moves from its source clip or source image. The default for this is about five pixels. The default for this is five pixels and you can move this all the way up to 4,000 pixels but that's probably going to be off your clip unless your video file is huge. You're probably only going to move this five 10 pixels to get a drop shadow effect and more if you're doing something else. Softness is how soft the edges are. So think of this as an edge feather. We've gone through this. At a certain point, when you turn your softness up too high, you're gonna start losing your shape. It's gonna edge feather it so much that it becomes kind of a weird blog of whatever the once asset you had. It maintains the shape more or less depending on if it's not just a square, but it is gonna become less usable for a, an actual drop shadow if you turn this up too high. It goes all the way up to 30,000, 30,000. That's how soft you can make it, 30,000. And the last control we have for drop shadow is shadow only, yes or no. It's a checkbox, and depending on what you toggle is what you'll get. It is shadow only, so when it's yes, toggled, you are only getting the shadow and it hides the source image. Now you may be thinking, why would I ever want to use that? Well, here's the fun part. We have options with this effect. There are so many creative possibilities you can utilize this for. So the first example was what we're gonna do and we're gonna use the same asset for all of our examples because look at the little dude, he got little hands. We're gonna take him and we're gonna add a drop shadow on him. We're gonna move our distance to zero. We're gonna keep our softness at zero and we're gonna make him chroma key green. Our direction doesn't matter for this example. However, we do want to turn our opacity to 100%. We want him to not be translucent at all. Once we have all the other settings correct, we're going to move the shadow only to yes or toggled. And we're going to see it transforms our little dude from little dude to silhouette of little dude. And we're using this example specifically because I want you to see how pixel perfect it can be. With drop shadow, it's grabbing your exact edges and replicating it to create that perfect shadow. With this little dude, he's got a lot of little hairs from the, the PNG image. He's got his little whiskers, his tail, all that fun stuff. Yet you can see exactly what it was because Drop Shadow replicated it perfectly. Now we can go a step further with our little rat dude and we can take him and our original clip and we can add those two to a nest. If you don't know how to do a nest, select the two clips you want to add together, right click and then select nest. What this is doing is it's basically putting those two clips in a folder and then you're applying all your effects on top of that folder. Essentially, it's allowing you to look at both assets that are in your nest as one flat asset. So whatever effects you apply on top of it are going to be applied as if it was one video, one asset. And this is an important step because if we do this, we can then take our little rat dude, have him in the nest on top of our video and add a key effect on top of the nest. Once you have your keen effect on the nest, you're going to change the key color to the same color as the rat and you're going to watch him disappear. And now you have a perfectly cut out rat shape in your video that allows you to place anything you want behind it. I'm well aware that this is an extraordinarily strange way to showcase this effect. It's drop shadow and where we've just keyed out a rat on top of our root video. However, I think it's really important to show just how far you can take these different effects in your everyday video use. And some of them are gonna be way quicker than the traditional way to go about it. You don't have to mask anything out. You're not using intense effects that are going to slow your computer way down. You're using the built-in effects that are meant to do things like this, but it's just not as common. 
Now that you have your keyed out rat, you can put whatever you want behind it. You can throw space behind it. You can throw McDonald's French right. It doesn't matter. You do you. I don't know why you found this video, but you found it for a reason. Go use this for that reason. And if it didn't help, throw a comment down below and let us know what you were looking for with this video so I can make them better for you, okay? Alternatively, you can join our Discord and we might be able to help you on the fly on a lot quicker of a response. The link's down in the description. You come in, you help others out, people help you out. We talk about how stupid some of these effects are and how they hurt my brain. Drop shadow is kind of an intense name for an effect that just adds a shadow under something. Like I get drop shadow. Drop shadow.